They threw themselves an old-fashioned pep rally at Purdue last night. With the Big Ten basketball championship on the line, they were getting ready for tonight's big game with arch-rival Indiana University. In most places, basketball is merely a sport. In Indiana, it's practically a religion. Indiana, it's rural, Republican, it's Reagan country. He carried the state with over 60% of the vote in the last election. And at Purdue, a conservative campus in the heart of Indiana farm country, we sat in this morning on American Government 101, where some students were concerned about what they heard. When he comes out and campaigns that he's going to be tough on terrorists, and we're standing tall, and then behind our back, he negotiates with terrorists, and he says that he's not going to. I think that's a lie. I think his whole presidency is a farce. He totally went back on his policies, and it, and everybody's just saying, well, that's, that's Reagan, and that's the way he is, and he's a great leader. And so he made a mistake. And I think that's pretty much unforgivable. And what about the allegations that Mr. Reagan was not in control? It might have been other people's doings, but he is the president, and his, it's his responsibility to really know what's going on. No, I haven't lost any respect, and I still like him as a president. We love our Uncle Ron. <laughs> Ronald Reagan has been president since most of them were in junior high school. So today, it wasn't surprising that a lot of them were willing to stand by him. I believe that he's a forceful American. And the, the, the key word is American. And I just see Reagan as a, as a forceful leader, good or bad, but forceful. And, and I think that's what we need. If he's guilty of anything, he's guilty of ignorance, just not knowing what's going on. It may just be academic, but they seem to reflect a mood in America that while many of them do in fact blame the president for the Iran affair, there is still a fundamental affection for Ronald Reagan. Indiana believes in old-fashioned loyalties, and for the moment, that's good news in the White House. Bernard Goldberg, CBS News at Purdue University.